Yo guys, Wido here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a good looking Discord server. Now I've actually made this video 8 months ago, but I got a lot of people asking me if I can make them a Discord server or they're just asking me any tips, so I might as well just do it in this video. Now since I made a video about this before, I'm not going to be talking about the bots, but unless this video blows up somehow, if this video gets 50 likes, what I'll be making saying? a part 2 for this video. So yeah guys, if you want to support me in any way, the best way you can do is use my code whiteout in the item shop and follow all of my socials. The link is in the description and I appreciate everyone that's already using my code and following me. Now without further ado, let's start making a Discord server. Okay, so I'm going to be making a brand new server. So now the first thing we want to do is create our server. So to make things easier, we can just start from a template. All this does is gives you like a few categories and channels, but not too many. You can just click for a clever community. Okay, and now the first thing I want to talk about for you guys is have a certain theme and make sure it's aesthetic. If you're looking to grow your server, you don't want to have a basic name. So like if you don't want to just put your community, like I'm not going to put Whiteout's community. And also you guys can take inspiration from other servers and add those things into yours. So I guess that's like a little extra tip that you guys can have. Also, I forgot to mention, if you guys have anything you want to say to me, you can go join my Discord server. The link is in the description and I'll post the code up on the screen so you guys can see if that's easier for you guys. Okay, and you guys can just upload any picture you want. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to put this in because I'm not using this. I'm only using this for this video, so I'm probably going to delete it right after. So yeah, just make sure you have a certain theme to your server that you thought about or just take inspiration from other servers and just be unique. Just be your own thing. So it doesn't give you that much, but it just gives you like a little start on what you're going to do. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is making sure everyone's app permission is off. What you want to do is click on server settings, click on roles, default permissions, and now you want to scroll all the way down until you find mention not everyone at here and not roles and turn that off because if someone's going to keep adding everyone and ping spamming, that's going to make people leave and that's going to make people mad. And I wouldn't want to deal with that honestly either. So make sure that's off and also scroll all the way down as well and make sure administrator is off because that's basically like the owner and they can just do everything except delete your discord. But yeah, you don't want to get griefed or anything. So yeah, click the plus for a new role and I just made that. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it admin for right now. This will be your admin for your discord so we can delete messages, kick members, whatever you want to do. So yeah, you guys can change this if you want. Okay, so there's like different types of admins. So if you don't want to give this admin too much power, you guys can just scroll down here and make sure they can only kick members and ban members if you want but if you don't want them to ban any members just make sure that's off and you still have kick members on now you can make a mod for where like the mod is deleting messages and he has admin so only give administrators to people you only trust do not just give it to anyone random because this is basically a 50 50 on your discord server and you do not want to just give it to anyone random asking for it so yeah make sure you're careful with that don't just give admin to every single role you see just make sure it's on your admin or mod role Okay, I'm not going to go into that much detail with all these roles, but also one more thing, you can just change the color. You can make a custom color if you want to. Okay, so yes, we're going to make admin red. Also, make sure display role members separately from online members is on. So basically, what happens is when you have this ticked on, and when someone has the role, you'll see it on that person. So for example, I'm going to give myself the admin, and now you see that I'm the admin of the server, and I'm red. Okay, so guys, I said I was going to make a dedicated video for bots, but just to have two basic bots, you guys want to have Me6 and also Rhythm. Rhythm is your music bot that you want to have in your server, and Me6 has like a leveling up server, like commands, announcements, stuff like that. Just check it out. So yeah, th these are the two bots you want to have for your Discord server. And yeah, that's enough talking about the bots for this video. Okay guys, now I'm going to be showing you how to create your own channels and your categories. So that's basically your text channels and your voice channels. It's pretty easy. But I'm going to make a category first for you guys. So what you're going to do is click on here, create a category, and I'm just going to name it Welcome. And now what you're going to do is click on the plus next to Welcome, and now you can just put anything you want. So I'm just going to put rules. You guys will see what I'm doing in a few seconds. Okay, so basically our Welcome section is going to be for where we have our rules when people join, just little things like that. So yeah, guys, it's the same thing for voice channels. You can keep your voice channels in one like separate category from everything else. So what you guys want to do is click on create channel, make sure it's set to voice and just add whatever you want. So just for right now, I'm just going to name it VC. And yeah, you can create that and there's our VC. I'm going to join it. And yeah, you guys can see me in here and now I'm going to leave it. And that's how we do it. Okay, so guys, I'm going to make a few tech channels and categories. I'm going to skip towards the end when I finish and I'll show you guys what I do at the end. Okay, so guys, I just finished making a few channels now. You guys can copy some of this if you want to. All I did was like make a few channels, basic channels, but 
yeah you can just take the idea of it okay so what i did was add emojis to text channel so it doesn't look as bland you know you guys want to have a certain theme it doesn't have to be emojis there's different ways of making it look cool i guess but yeah there's different ways you don't have to have emojis if you don't want to but just a tip don't overuse emojis just have one emoji max or maybe two okay on to the next step you guys want to click on here click on server settings and now go to enable community and get started so this just gives you access to little things like announcements and things like that i'm just gonna put it in uh in rules right now so yeah you guys want to make sure you're at everyone's off this is this is preference if you want to have mentions only i i really don't have it on but it's preference and just make sure you click i agree and understand then finish setup so yeah it says right here this gives you access to like more tools to help you like moderate and grow your server okay now i want to show you guys how to do announcements now what you want to do is create a channel Click on announcement channel and just name it announcements and then create channel. So basically what this channel is, is you can post your announcements in this channel. And if people follow it, they'll get your announcements in other people's servers. And that just gives your server more potential to grow if more and more people keep looking at your announcements in other servers. Okay, now I'm just going to give you like general tips for this video. This is like my last step, I guess. But yeah, there's a few tips I'm going to show you guys. So um, you, you just have, make sure you have an AFK voice channel. So what I do, I just put AFK on it and put the inactive timeout to 15 minutes. Okay, so if you're in a different voice channel and you're AFK for 15 minutes, it's going to put you in this AFK voice channel until you're back. And then you can go back to your other channel that you're in. Also, you guys don't have to have the random message when people join. I mean, I, I always keep it on. It doesn't bother me for it now, I guess. But yeah, if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. I'll keep it on for this video. Okay, now you guys want to go to moderation. You can just have it at medium at best. You don't want to have it too high, but just make sure it's at lower medium. So yeah, just keep it at medium. Just make sure you don't have any like people being weird, you know? So yeah, just make sure they have a Discord account that's been used longer than five minutes, basically. Okay, then you want to scroll down and make sure you have scanned media content from all members clicked. Yeah, you just want to do that. So yeah, this is a Discord protection thing you want to have on. So just make sure that's clicked on. So you can use these emojis in your own server. If you have Discord Nitro, you can use it in other servers too. So if you have Discord Nitro, you can use other emojis from other servers into your server. So yeah, these are your Discord emojis. You're going to have things like this. So for my Discord server, these are my Discord emojis. I'm going to add more in the future. I just have these for right now. And also, I'm going to show you guys how to add emojis if you're on keyboard or PC, I guess. So what you're going to do is press Windows and then press the dot. And yeah, this will bring up your emoji tab. And yeah, you can just put anything you want. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to be showing you guys how to invite people to your own server. So you want to click on Invite People and edit the link if you want to just to make sure it never expires so click on never and then max number uses no limit generate a new link and then you can copy the link and invite people that you want so yeah thank you guys for watching this video the least you guys can do is like and subscribe all of that good stuff you guys can join my discord server in the link down below if you have any questions you guys can dm me or just talk in my discord server also if you guys want to support me use my credit code whiteout in the item shop and yeah i hope all of you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys in the next video